più grande innovazione dopo l'invenzione del casco, lo dico senza paura di smentita, è il sistema MIBS che permette di ridurre i danni cerebrali generati sì dall'urto ma soprattutto dalla rotazione generata dall'impatto. Un sistema che troviamo all'interno dei caschi da bici, da equitazione, da sci ma ovviamente soprattutto da moto. Oggi siamo qui in Svezia alla sede della MIPS a Stoccolma per capire qual è la passione che si cela dietro questo sistema, come viene sviluppato, quali sono i test che vengono realizzati. Adesso venite con me che andiamo a scoprirlo. Ed eccoci in una delle aree più top secret della MIPS, ovvero il laboratorio dove vengono testati tutti i prodotti con il MIPS oppure senza. Tre aree di lavoro, diverse altezze e quindi diverse velocità, diverso impatto. Hello, nice Hello. to meet you Maurizio. My name is Max, nice to meet you, welcome to MIPS. MIPS was started from an idea of a uh, very frustrated neurosurgeon that got a lot of patients on his surgery table. They had suffered from a severe brain damage, but they couldn't see any real impact on the helmet. So then, of course, he started to do a lot of research and quickly understood that helmets today were not designed to protect your brain, they are only designed protecting against the skull fracture. And that is the origin of MIPS and the reason why MIPS started in, in the first place. One of the original concepts of MIPS is not to try to change the original characteristic yeah, yeah, yeah. of the helmet. That's why you often, in a motorcycle helmet, don't even see the solution because it's integrated behind the padding. So the, the rider as such shouldn't feel that we have impacted the helmet. Hopefully we have made the hel helmet safer, but we have not impacted comfort or fit of the helmet overall. Of course, what we have done today is always to make sure that our solution address the typical urban solution that uh, there is today. If you drive 200 km an hour and you crash with a helmet, then sometimes we don't make a difference because there is other forces coming in and so on. We always try to develop a relevant solution and our tests demonstrate that we really have developed a, a relevant solution. When you go at really high speed, then of course the impact of our solution is less because you introduce different kind of forces and so on. There is no standard in the industry today. I hope that there will be soon that everyone can refer to because then at least everyone is testing against the same thing and if you have claims that shouldn't be made the standard will address those kind of issues. Today anyone can launch a competitive solution. You put it into the helmet and then you claim that it reduces rotational effects and then you have a solution. It's very difficult to challenge that kind of comment. Short term I think there will be a lot of safety features added to the helmet. I hope that MIPS can be one of those safety features but there is also other things which you can address such as the chin bars and all of that. We have also seen a lot of airbag technologies coming into helmets and so on. And if I would say one thing that will probably continue to develop a lot, it's the area around smart helmets, taking into account the surroundings that you have around you, accelerometers and so on. So hopefully the helmets will continue to develop. And I think also given the price of a motorcycle helmet, it also has a lot of opportunity to develop. Today we are in seven different categories. Uh, we continue to expand in new categories. We have just launched uh, helmets within ice hockey and we all just launched our first uh, construction helmets uh, and so on. So the more people we can protect, the more people where we can reduce the risk of injury, the better it is. Ragazzi, per fortuna il sistema MIPS è presente anche nei caschi da skate. Allora sapete cosa vi dico? Prendo quello elettrico, vado a farmi un bel giro veloce. Ciao, alla prossima!